In this clip, we'll look at how to input a plan from a pre-existing planning report. So in this case, we've got well seeker on the left and the planning report in question on the right. So currently a blank database, I'm going to create a new instant plan, just so it creates all of the database tree levels instantly. And then I'll go in to each level and go to the properties and adjust as appropriate. So our operator is an over US example. And this is where you would select a logo or add in any anti-collision settings. Within the field level, we now go ahead and name the field. So in this case, Bold Eagle. That's Virginia. And we select our mapping system. So in this case, it's NAD 27 West Virginia North. We check that our north reference is the same as on the plan, so grid, and that our local coordinate system are either well-centered or facility-centered. Now, from the looks of this, from the plan, it looks like it's well-centered. In the planning report we've got, we have no field uh, reference center, so in this case, I'm going to leave this as the default Latin long. And we can also see that in the planning report, scale factor has not been applied. So we will leave the box unchecked. Uh, we can also see that their system datum here is mean sea level, and that's what we've currently got selected by default. We then move on to facility level, open up the properties, and the facility here is called the Echo 180. In this case, We've already selected the coordinates reference system at field level, so it's non-editable. And we do have a location, uh, latitude and longitude, for the facility. So we will go ahead and enter those. So latitude is 39 degrees, 0 minutes, 0 seconds north. And longitude is 37 degrees, 0 minutes and zero seconds west. And at this stage, you just verify that the grid eastings and grid northings match the grid eastings and northings on the report. And in this case, they do. We can also check the grid convergence is correct as the report, and in this case it is. So I'm happy that it's been input correctly. Next, we go on to the well level, properties, and we insert a well name. Okay, and in this case, we can input the coordinates either as geographic, map, offset from facility. I'm just going to put them in as. Uh, geographic coordinates. So in this case, latitude of 38 degrees, 59 minutes, and 59.913 seconds north, and 79 degrees, 0 minutes, and 0 0.245 seconds west. And that gives us we can just verify an offset from facility of 8.9 and 19.23 with a degree of rounding. So actually what we can see here is that because the geographic coordinates aren't um, as accurate as map northings and eastings, we can actually change to map northings and eastings and make these more accurate. So we'll change that to 0.6 and we will change the Easting 2.87.01. And that makes our offset from facility pretty much bang on. Next thing we're going to do is introduce a depth reference for our well. So in this case, we can see that our depth datum is rotary table elevation. So we're going to call it RTE. 
uh, elevation above Dayton is 1021.998. Select that as my default. And within here, we can now see that we have to input our ground elevation to mean sea level, which is 998.99 US feet. OK, now we'll go to our plan level. Go to our properties. And for this case, I'll just try and move this around so I can see everything. So our well bore is called well twenty nine zero seven ninety four plan one. And in this case we will check the magnetics information. So they have a magnetics model of IGRF twenty twelve. IGRF 12, apologies, and the date for that is the 4th and 9th, 2019. And that should bring us in with very similar magnetics data to the one on the plan. Next, we will select our rotary table elevation. This will ask us if we it's going to change the plan. Well, we don't have a plan in place, so I'm just going to say preserve TVDs. And that is all we need to pull over, I believe, from the information given on the plan. Uh, apologies, we still need to select our vertical section azimuth and origins. So by default, it uses bottom hole location. If we uncheck that, it then gives us our vertical section azimuth to manually select an input. It's the origin of the well, and it's 00, zero northwest uh, origin points. And our tie on line, as we can see from the plan, is 000. zero, zero. So we leave that as default. OK, now what we can do is we will look at the plan itself, and we've now reached the stage where we can physically input the plan. So what we're looking at here are the plan sections, i.e. where direction or dog leg capability actually changes. And these are the critical ones. If you look at the detailed plan that's um, potentially incremented every 30 feet or 100 feet, that's far too much detail to input and isn't always necessary. So if there is a plan section, try and utilize that. So I'm going to double left click on our plan one. This will open up our planning tools just for the purposes of this exercise, just gives a bit more space. I'm going to close this window. And what this allows us to do is just take up more space for the purposes of the video. So what we're looking at here is this plan section. So we can see our tie on lines tie in. Next, we would put in a plan sections um, to a depth of 5249.96. And you can either type that in manually as 5249.96 and a 00, or I like to try and use the planning tools where possible. So I would select hold, TVD, 5249.96. Hit the calculate button and it pulls it in for me. At this stage, I would generally, at every level, try and verify the TVD north, south, and east, west coordinates are tying in as you do this step by step. Next, I'll add in the third line from the plan sections. And what we can see here is we're not going to just type this in. Um, well, we will, first of all, let's go 5916.63. Forty degrees ink and one hundred eighty degrees azimuth. And what you will see sometimes is that if you just type these in, you might get a variation in the TVD north, south, or east, west. And that's because potentially 
the person that made this plan has used a planning tool and there are very slightly different decimals in the background. In this case, it seems to have worked fine, um, but another methodology you could have used there was um, the dogleg tool face utility. Going to an inclination of 40 degrees with a dogleg severity of 6 and a tool face of 180. And that will give you the same results. For the next line, that looks like a drop with a 6 degree dogleg on a slightly different azimuth. So we will put this in as 5959.72, a 38.97 degree ink, and a 183.73 azimuth. Again, we check that these lines tie in. They look good. The next line that we input will be a hold to this measured depth. Seven two two one point five four. Calculate again. Check the lines tie in. Okay, so now we start to see our first variation, and this is just due to rounding. So whatever hole we did in the decimal places in the background, this will maybe be three or four decimal places, and there will be some rounding error here. So the fact that we've held it for a closure length of 1,200 feet has actually resulted in a slight variation in our TBD um, and north-south, east-west coordinates. So what we can do to overcome that is we can input this um, individually or we can try and do a dogleg tool face to a point, a user defined point, and we can input the north, south, east, west coordinates directly. So that will be minus 1042.72. East west is minus 52.53, and the TVD in this case is 6878.04. We hit calculate. We then should tie in exactly. So the thing we've input is the TVD north, south, east, west, and then it's calculated the measured depth inclination azimuth for us. The next line we input, again, so in this case I would use the, potentially the same as we did there, make sure we get the same points, user defined, north south minus 1499.99, east west 0, and TVD 7099.96 calculate and here we get a very slight variation of 0 0.01 of a foot in the plan that's not really anything to worry about at this stage but that's about as close as we can get and that will probably come from a variation in decimal places further up in the plan resulting in that then what we have is a hold We'll put in the measured depth, see what that comes out like. Calculate. And we do end up with a slight variation in the TVD. So again, I'll go back and change that to dog leg tool face method point, And we'll just input the north, south, east, west and TVD. Okay, and again, that's brought us within 0 0.01 of the plan and the same inclination as in the same bottom hole coordinates. So that, in a nutshell, is how to uh, bring in and copy a plan from a planning report into Wellseeker.